everyone, we here to start a new game called Mixor, and it's a game made by Charon, just like Yanderella and what was it? Is it Mikoto Nikki? Was it? Was it? I cannot remember. But there is plenty of Charon's games, and I want to play them all. So now we're heading off to this one, and there is. One, two, three, four, five, six different endings, and I'm trying to get them all. So, let's get going. Arr. This game contains violent and grotesque deceptions. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to anything is a coincidence. Presented by Charon. I hear sirens. I can't move my body. It's pitch black in front of me. What's going on? Am I... dead? I woke up to find myself in a white room. It appeared to be a hospital room. I was lying in a bed. Who am I? I can't remember anything. Do I have amnesia? There was a girl sitting next to me. A teacup was sitting on a nearby table. Did she put it there for me? I wonder what's in it. Ooh, so these are three different characters, I think. And... We're gonna go with strawberry milk first. Some strawberry milk. Day one, awakening. Ooh, I like the idea already. Aww. Hello. Nagisa, I really love that name because it's kind of my name, Isa, at the end. And also from Clonnut. If you haven't seen Clonnut, you need to see it. It's so sad. The after story of Clonnut is even sadder, and it's on my top favorite animes ever. You're awake? Jeez, Gandaro. <laughs> yes, again with the, the Taro ending guy name. You had me worried. I I thought you might never wake up again. Kandaro? Uh... I can't remember anything. <gasps> Kandaro, don't tell me! Do you not remember me? Uh, are you saying you don't remember anything about yourself either? It's me! Nagisa! Nagisa Ichigao Light! Which is probably the strawberry milk. You and I are going out. I'm y I I'm your girlfriend. Well, do you remember now? That's a weird name. Wow, you really don't remember anything. Is this what they call amnesia or whatever? Ugh, I don't like this at all. How horrible. It's so sad that you've forgotten everything. Hey, you're just messing with me, aren't you? You actually don't... Do you remember who I am, right? Please don't scare me like that. Just so you know, we were so close that we were practically about to get married, so... You better take responsibility! 
Even if you've lost your memory, you're precious to me, Gantaro. I love you. I love you more than anyone else in the world. Thanks. Mm. It was pretty hard for me, you know? When I heard you were going on the verge of dying, I thought my heart was gonna stop. But I'm really, really glad you woke up. So glad. I feel like I could cry. <sighs> there, there. Thank you. Kondaro. I don't know why, but it feels kind of sad. I'm the only one that remembers anything about you. Even you yourself don't remember anything. Your face has looked like we're meeting for the first time. It's weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of tired. I'll come to see you again tomorrow, okay? I'm gonna bring you some more of that strawberry milk you love so much. See you later. Have a nice rest, Gandaro. Thank you, sweetie. The girl who called herself Nagisa Ichil Girl Lights went home. She seems to be my girlfriend. Apparently she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Nagisa again. I can move. It's a lot more simple, simpler than the rest of the Charon's games. It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely shows it's not a simply a chest of drawers. It's had a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside it is the strawberry milk Nagisa bought for me. It's a closet. There are clothes and my coat hanging in there. Maybe they're mine. A table that's rather stylish for being in a hospital. It's a chair. Nagisa was sitting there. There's a nameplate here. Mr. Kantaro. I offer my safe point services drop the nation. Care to save? Yes. Oh, it's so weird that because it's like about drinks, kinda. It, we can hear like a swallow sound all the time. It looks like it's raining outside. My sullen face is reflected in the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. Ugh. I might be a pretty handsome. There's a hallway beyond this door. I can sense someone standing behind it. Kantaro, uh, you're awake? That's good. Who are you? Huh? Uh... The girl walked away. It seems she knows me. I wonder who she could be. There's a hallway beyond this door. The lights have already been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. Maybe I just go back to sleep? No! I, I want to save because I saw the girl. Good. And now I will go to bed. Yeah. <clears throat> uh -uh. Huh? Day two. Outing. Hello, Nagisa. Good morning! How are you feeling? Were you able to sleep well? Did you remember anything? Probably not. That's okay. Take it one step at a time. Jeez, don't give me that face. I don't mind that you don't remember anything. Really, it's fine. 
we can just create new memories, right? You're probably worried that I'm forcing myself to smile, right? Thanks. You're so nice, Kantaro. Oh, that's right! I bought you some strawberry milk. Aren't I just great? Uh, you're great. Hehe, <laughs> I'll do anything if it's for your sake. Kantaro, how about we take a walk? Just for a change of pace, or do you want not to? Sure. Really? Thanks, Kandaro! Mmm, this breeze feels good. These kinds of sunny days are the best to do laundry on. I wonder if looking at this clear blue sky will help you remember anything, Kantaro? Oh, that reminds me. Kantaro, do you remember why you were so close to dying? I don't know. A stalker tried to kill you! A nasty stalker that tried to get between you and me! They were a real bother. But to think they'd go that far? You even ended up losing your memory! That's crazy level of obsession! Oh, mm hmm Hey, Kandaro? If there was something you absolutely had to have no matter what, what would you do? Uh, save up some money. Oh, of course! You're rich after all! I know! Why don't we go shopping? Hmm, where should we go? Lately I've been wanting to buy some clothes. Are you ripping me off? Let's go, Kantaro! Uh, okay. Then it's settled. We're off. We had some fun shopping together. Nagisa didn't care about my memory loss, she just stayed with me, smiling the whole time. Somewhere along the way, I seemed to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. I can save. I offer my safe point services throughout the nations, care to save? Um, there's a hallway beyond the store. I can sense someone standing behind it. I'm Sana, Sana Chocolau Lao. Do, do you not remember me? I see. Sorry. Um, please excuse me. Take care. The girl walked away. Sana cook a lot. What kind of connection does she have to me? Ah, so creepy! Yes. Yes. Ooh, that Coco is so creepo. Day three, suspicion. Ooh, I don't like it. Today, Nagisa brought me to what she calls our memory spot. She calls it a spot, but it's actually my room. Kandaro, this is our memory spot. It's your room. And yes, I have my own duplicate key for it. <laughs> That's girlfriend privilege. So, do you remember anything? Of course not. It's not like it would be that easy. But um, the truth is, this is where we had our first time. First time? Jeez, you don't get it? 
This is where we had our first kiss. Oh, I thought you had our first sex. Yeah, I said it. I'm so embarrassed. Hey, Kantaro. I think I want you to do it. I got it. Ah. I'm a player, play. She is just shocked. Mm. That was a little embarrassing. You ask for it! Even though it wasn't our first time. I think I'm feeling kind of fired up now. Are you listening? Damn it, Kantaro! Don't ignore me! Say something instead of just sitting there all silent! Hey, Kantaro? Is something bothering you? There hasn't been a strange girl following you around lately, has there? Yeah, I'm being followed. I knew it. You need to watch out for her, Kandaro. She's the one who tried to kill you. I already know. I can never forgive her. This time I'll definitely protect you. So, stay by my side, promise. Um, I don't know, girl. You seem suspicious to me. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. There's a hallway beyond this door. The lights are already burned o turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. Oh. So I just go to sleep? I'm not sleepy yet. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? There's a small scrap of paper inside one of the drawers. Read it. Today that girl came to my house again. She's like a stalker. I've told her I already have a girlfriend, but she just keeps confessing over and over. Why me? For some reason, though, it doesn't bother me. Maybe because she's cute. If I didn't already have a girlfriend, I might have gone out with her. Wh why is it? Why do I not feel at least bit annoyed? A girl who blindly loves me. I guess that might not be so bad. I wonder who wrote this. For now, I'll just keep it with me. You've got a small paper scrap. Oh no. No, I, I will save the game. Care to say? Is she behind my door? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just afraid that one night the door will open like... <laughs> Day four. Ichigo late. Ichigo light? I don't know. It was time. Nagisha should have come to visit me like she always did. That's what I thought I, as I kept waiting, but Nagisa never came. Did something happen to her? Could it be that stalker? I got worried and burst out of my hospital room. Our memory spot. My room. She might be there. With that in my mind, I ran over there. I arrived at our memory spot. My room was different than usual. My, The first thing that entered my field of view was red. Fresh blood. A person's blood. Oh. <laughs> Matsuna is dead! Sanae! It was Sanae. Sanae Kokola was lying on the floor, covered in blood. Is something wrong, Kantaro? Why did you yell so loudly just now? You really surprised me. Is there something on your mind? Did you do it? Hmm? 
Oh, this? Yeah, I did. Well, what do you think? Great, isn't it? Oh, God. Sane Kokolar, was it? She was kind of annoying, so I made it that she couldn't talk anymore. <laughs> Kandaro, it must have been a real burden being followed around by her, huh? You were scared, weren't you? But now it's okay. I'm sure she'll never walk or talk ever again. I was finally able to protect you. Aren't I a good girl? Murder is a bit too much. Hey, Kantaro, now there's no one to get in our way. So marry me! Hell no! Why? I'm not going to let you say you don't want to. I remembered. My memory was slowly piecing itself back together inside my head bit by bit. But something's off. That's it. That said, the person I gave my first kiss to the, in this spot wasn't Nagisa. It was Sanai. If my regained memories are correct, everything Nagisa has told me is the complete opposite of the truth. My girlfriend was Sanai, Nagisa was the stalker. I don't know why she's told me all the things she has. It doesn't seem like she's simply lying. Was she trying to implant memories in my mind that were more convenient for her? When was it? It was raining that day. I went over to his house as usual. Then I saw it. No way. Why? Why is this happening? What should I do? What should I do? I'm the only one good for him. So why are that plain girl and Kandaro? Just why? Kandaro, I don't understand. I'm so... I'm so, so much more in love with you than she is. Oh, what is this? What is this? What this is? What is this? Oh. Kandaro must be in a bind. That boring girl has been stalking him, so he's hanging out with her because he has no other choice. That must be it. Yeah, Kandaro's in trouble. I have to help him. You didn't do anything wrong, Gandaro. It's all her fault. That's right. This was all just misunderstanding. It's not right. It's not, not, not right. This is all wrong. I'm the, the one g going out with Gandaro. It's me. I'm the one dating him. The one dating Kandaro is me. It's me. I'm the only one, the only one who Kandaro loves. <laughs> Just wait, Kandaro. I'll save you. I'll do anything for you. After all, I love you more than anyone else in the world. You're the stalker. Why? Why would you say something like that? You're awful! I... I'm the stalker? Is that what you're saying? 
that's wrong. I'm your girlfriend. She, she's the stalker. You don't remember anything. You're just talking crazy. My girlfriend is Sanai. No! You're, that's wrong. You and I are going out. You're wrong. You're wrong. Nagisa broke down crying. Large tears rolled down her cheeks. <laughs> wrong. You're wrong. I... I love you, Kandaro. Love. I... will die. I'm fine with dying if it's for your sake. Would I be better off dead? Yeah, you should die. You're right. I was just thinking the same thing. I think your support helped me make up my mind. I'm sorry for everything. I don't think I have much of a reason to live anymore. Thank you, Kandaro. I love you. It was only for a short while, but being able to be your girlfriend... ...made me happy. Suddenly... Nagisa thrust a knife into her stomach. It wasn't just once. Over and over. A river of deep crimson blood spilled out of her body. And then she finally ran out of strength and toppled onto the floor. I was stunned by the scene unfolding before me. My hands and feet were trembling, I couldn't even move. All I could do was watch Nagisa die right in front of me. There was no way to stop her or help her. I was a fool. Both before and after losing my memory, I was a spineless piece of trash. My room had been painted red with the blood of Nagisa and Sana. Nagisa's lifeless eyes simply stared at me. You loved me. Despite being drenched in blood, having died that way she did. I think I might love you too. Nagisa was smiling. Bad end. Nagisa smile. Oh yeah! That was really gruesome. Like, ugh. There's no way someone ca could stab themselves plenty of times. No way, but ew. At the same time, it's actually really great. I don't know, but this was the first ending. Bad and Nagi's a smile, and. There is still one ending from Strawberry, what is Strawberry Milk ending? So I will see that on the next episode. Bye bye! Sweet. Because my not